Mheshimiwa Waziri wa Ulinzi, Gavana wa Gatunzi hili na wasugishu Mahmud Nyaga pamoja na Asanteni kwa heshima kinaweza kuketi tafadhali. Naye msikilizaji rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, ni mkuu wa majeshi ya ulinzi. kwa majeshi ya Kenya akapochukua nafasi yake kwenye jukwaa maana
Wapigie makofi wanachui division chini yake Meja Evans Lucia Wasonga kuwebuka wa shindi. Best Company Honor, G Company, commanded by Lieutenant K. N. Mnyoike. Tuwapigie makofi wanachi kampani chini yake lute Tuwapigie makofi section number one ya platoon number 27 Your Excellency, on behalf of the entire Recruits Training School fraternity Allow me to welcome you to Recruits, uh, to this school And also to thank you most sincerely For finding time from your busy schedules to be with us today. Your Excellency, on parade before you are the new soldiers who have just taken their oath of allegiance. They will from here join various services of the Kenya Defense Forces to assume their respective duties to defend the nation. So graduates, you have completed the basic training. As the phrase suggests, this is only the start. Do not rest on your laurels. Your military career calls for continuous training and development as well as improvement. You must wake up every day committed to going to bed a better soldier than when you woke up. Have a passion for your profession and take pride in your work. Be a soldier that future graduates will look up to and seek to model their behavior on. Since the dawn of our republic, the Kenya Defense Forces have secured a sterling reputation as the unfailing guardians of Kenya's sovereignty, territory, values, and our way of life. It is also notable that KDF has been a force for good in peace and security in our region and beyond. This tradition of excellence, honor, and duty, as well as professionalism, distinguishes the KDF and raises our military well above its contemporaries. This is the proud history culture, and heritage that you, today's graduates, are privileged to join. I congratulate each and every one of you for successfully completing your basic training. You are joining the ranks of our defense forces at a very consequential time in our nation's history, a time when our sovereignty and the inviolability of our borders are subjected to unprecedented threats. In response to these conventional as well as asymmetrical threats, the military that you are formally joining today is one which has experienced tremendous enhancement of its capabilities capacity, conditions of service, as well as operational readiness over the last decade. You must always distinguish yourselves by carrying out your duties with discipline and deference to authority. You must adhere to every norm, rule, and law that governs your operations and you must be loyal to our nation, our values, as well as our institutions. 
in everything you do, whether in or out of uniform, whether on duty or off duty, you must always be above reproach and be the model soldier. We have invested heavily in upscaling our aerial, maritime, and land equipment. We have added new bases, bolstered the size of our force by additional recruitment, improved the remuneration and benefits of personnel, and adopted the training and operational practices demanded by a fluid security environment. As a result, Kenya boasts a highly capable, well-equipped, and superbly trained military that can deliver superlative results across a variety of missions, whether it is international peacekeeping operations, or in defending our borders, or in assisting civilian agencies in humanitarian disaster response, or in collaborating with other concerned agencies within the security and intelligence sectors. KDF serves with unflinching duty and admirable purpose. So today, as you join the Kenya Defense Forces, remember that our military commands honor, respect, and admiration in our region and indeed across the globe. Our service men and women inspire confidence, patriotism, and pride in the hearts of our people. So as new service members, of the Defense Force, I call upon you to follow in these footsteps and to perform your duties with a professionalism, honor, integrity, diligence, and courage that your colleagues are renowned for. As the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, I take pride in the high standards that this organization holds in every arena, including the United Nations Security Council, it is for that reason that whenever the world needs guardians to keep the peace in countries in turmoil, their eyes turn towards Kenya. In this context, I wish to restate our commitment as a government to continue investing in KDF and our other national security agencies. And we will also continue to foster synergies between the Kenyan public and the security forces. Evidence is abound that such partnership is bound to yield excellent results in counterterrorism, border security, threat assessment, as well as planning. The message I am trying to pass to you today is that security is not a task delivered by the government alone. Every single Kenyan has a duty to ensure that our country remains peaceful and secure, as these two variables are key to the realization of a prosperous and cohesive Kenya that we all yearn for. Accordingly, I urge every Kenyan to work together in unity of purpose and to actively cooperate with our security agencies. Kenyans must have the courage to report any threat to our nation that may come into their knowledge. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate the Chief of Defense Forces, the Commandant of this school, our officers, and all the service members of the Kenya Defense Force Recruits Training School for their exemplary work. To the families of the recruits passing out today, I most sincerely thank you for supporting your loved ones as they join our defense forces to broaden the shield of our protection and sharpen the spear of our deterrence. To you graduates, I commend you 
for successfully completing your training. And from here, you will now report to your respective services to begin your career. May your mantra from this day forward remain notably country, duty, honor, and courage. I wish each and every one of you success and a long and illustrious career. Mungu awabariki, mukianza kazi zenu, mungu awalinde, na mungu aibariki taifaletu la Kenya.